Are you going on a cruise? These are 10 things that you absolutely never wanna do on a cruise, either because they're dangerous, they're against the rules, or they're just plain rude. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, whenever I bring up that there are some rules on a cruise or some things that we should never do, I always get the feeling that people maybe think that cruises are just not fun because of it. And this is absolutely not true. However, a cruise is a different type of vacation and sometimes people just aren't used to some of the things that are actually against the rules and can be dangerous. And other things, honestly, if you do them or I do them, it may just impact the kind of vacation that we have. So with all that said, I did want to mention that please take this list with a grain of salt. And as well, if you do enjoy this video, if you find it helpful, enjoyable, or informative in any way, please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'd love to have you here within the Life While Cruise community. Let's get started. Number one, don't ever stand or sit on any of the railings of a cruise ship. And these are the railings that are exterior of the cruise ship, like on the balconies or on any of the top decks, for instance, as well as any of the railings that are even on the interior of the cruise ship, like around the atrium. And unfortunately, I know this seems really obvious and most of the time people don't do this, but people do sometimes do this. and. As we all know, we've either seen videos or we've heard the stories or we've read the news. It is so dangerous and people have actually had really bad outcomes. I'm not gonna go any further on that, but if you do do that, not only can you of course have the worst that can happen, but you can actually be banned for life from a cruise line. That has happened to people before when they've taken selfies standing on the balcony of their cruise ship on the railing not a good idea at all. And if you are sailing with children, of course, never hold them up to the railing or to the windows. And at the same time, even teach the children not to stand up on any chairs that may be leaning very close up to the balcony railing. That is just not a very safe idea. So make sure that you do supervise your children just so that they don't do that. Now, something to mention is that the railing height is pretty high, so they're not just going to fall overboard, but if you are climbing or they are climbing, that can be dangerous. Number two, smokers never smoke in an area that is undesignated for smoking on a cruise ship. So this means most of the time that you won't be able to smoke in your cabin or on your cabin balcony. A few years ago, we were able to do this, but now the cruise lines, most of them do have a rule against smoking on a cruise ship balcony. This has to do with fire prevention. Of course, it's very, very important. Now, other areas on the cruise ship that you are able to smoke is usually the there is an area on the promenade deck. You will be able to find this when you do get on the cruise ship. You'll see the designated areas. There's also usually an area up on the Lido deck, maybe in the casino, some different areas, but definitely a rule that you must follow is never smoke in an area that you're not allowed to on a cruise ship. Number three, don't bring any prohibited items on a cruise ship. Now, some of these items can be really surprising. Now, some are obvious you can't bring weapons on a cruise ship, but some that are less obvious are that you can't bring a drone on a cruise ship or that you can't bring an iron or a steamer or even that you cannot bring a power strip that is a surge protected power strip like you do have at home. Now, what people often do bring is a non-surge protected power strip because oftentimes in the cruise ship cabin, there really just aren't a lot of plugs, but those are power strips that are non-surge protected and therefore they are cruise compliant. Now, something else that you can't bring on a cruise ship because it is prohibited is marijuana, even if it's medicinal marijuana. And this includes even uh, CBD oil and things like that. So of course you want to look at your own cruise line and what the rules are but don't bring prohibited items because you can actually really get in trouble they will either be confiscated or honestly when it comes to bringing drugs on a cruise ship as you can imagine, the consequences can be worse. Number four, don't avoid the mustard drill. Now, most of the time, the mustard drill nowadays is going to be like an e-muster. So a mustard drill that you could really do um, on your phone or in your cruise ship cabin just by watching the video. And then after that, you do need to go to your muster station to check in. Now, something that we've heard recently from some cruise lines is that people are not necessarily always going to their mustard drill, at least not in a timely fashion. We don't wanna do this. We wanna to go to those mustard drills because it's so much better than the way we had it before when we all had to gather for maybe 30 to 45 minutes or more all in one space before the sail away. That really wasn't pleasant. So don't avoid the mustard drill. 
go as soon as you can when you board your ship on embarkation day. Number five. Now this one just has to do with having some good manners when you are cruising. When you're in the public areas, when you're on the interior of the cruise ship, for instance, if you're in any of the lounges, don't put your feet up on the furniture. So this means don't put your feet up, mostly like on the tables in front of you. And I know this is something that sometimes cruise staff and crew will talk about. That is something that they just don't like to see. They'll say the furniture is really nice. And when people go in a public lounge and they do maybe put their feet up on the tables like they're in their living room, it really is impolite. Sometimes people even take off their shoes and put their bare feet on the tables. Definitely not something to do. We still are in a really nice environment. Keep that for the lounge chairs or for your cabin. Number six, don't be late on a cruise. Now, of course, I'm not a stickler for time all the time, but what I mean is don't be late for embarkation for your cruise ship. That is actually a problem because the cruise ship will not wait for you. Ideally, fly in the day before, but if you're not flying in the day before, just make sure that you do get there on time with a couple of hours to spare. And the same thing applies when you are in a cruise ship port. You really have to get back to the cruise ship before the all aboard time. If you do not, the cruise ship will definitely leave without you. And that is one thing you never want to happen when you are on a cruise. Number seven, speaking of cruise ports, be very careful what you bring off the cruise ship when you're in a cruise port, as well as what you bring back on the cruise ship in a cruise port. So for getting off the cruise ship, something to be careful of is bringing food off the cruise ship. So different destinations, of course, they do have rules. Usually it has to do with their agriculture. So fruits and vegetables and even meat is oftentimes not allowed to be brought off the cruise ship. You can check on those rules when you are on the cruise ship if you're not sure. However, you don't want to do that. You can actually get fined and even have the items taken away from you. Now, when it comes to getting back on the cruise ship, I think we've all heard of this before, but it is something genuine. You do not want to bring any packages back for people onto the cruise ship, you could imagine what just might happen and what just might be in those packages, definitely something that you never want to do. Number eight, don't neglect to keep an eye on your onboard expenses on a cruise ship. It can honestly add up really easily on a cruise ship. After all, you're really only charging things to your cruise card and at the end of your cruise, likely this is just going to be charged to your credit card. And honestly, it is pretty easy to just have those amounts rack up and be surprised by, well, a really big bill at the end of your cruise. So whether it's drinks on board your cruise ship, uh, maybe it's purchases, specialty dinners, um, just different things that you might be spending, casino, it can really add up. So keep an eye, you can actually do this by looking day to day um, on the app, on your phone, as well as on the TV in your cruise cabin. And you can even ask for an account, an invoice to be printed out for you as well at guest services. Number nine, don't talk politics. Now, of course, this is not a rule at all, but you know, there's that old saying about not talking about politics and religion. And honestly, these days, politics can be really divisive. It probably always was, but all of us, we're really going on vacation to forget the things that are on land, to have a good time, to relax. And if you talk politics, you're just going to get aggravated no matter which way it goes. So that is something, in my opinion, you should just not talk about on a cruise, meet new people, enjoy them, and leave that part of the conversation completely out. Now, please let me know if you agree or disagree with me on that. Number 10, don't yell at the crew. You really don't wanna be that cruise passenger that's at guest services and that is yelling. First of all, it's not really the best way to get what you want. If you do have a complaint, you definitely can bring it up to guest services. You could even escalate it to a supervisor, but you don't wanna be yelling and screaming at the crew, it's disrespectful. And honestly, most of the time, you're not gonna get much further ahead. Now, this was just a list of 10 things not to do on a cruise, but I know there are many, many, many more things to never do on a cruise. So please let me know your additions to this list down in the comments below. Now, I'm gonna leave a video right after this one about the things not to wear on a cruise. That I know is a little bit controversial, but it really is a very good video. And I think there are some really good points to consider. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.